Welcome to the Week 10 edition of the Catamount Football Show with Coach Matt Land. I'm Bill Mayo. This week we'll take a look back at the game versus the Osborne Cardinals and also talk about the upcoming first-round playoff game with the Decula Falcons. So stay right here back with more Catamount Football in just a minute. You know what makes Carpet Express different from other foreign companies? We care about you so that you can make the right choice for your home at Carpet Express, we offer carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, ceramic tile, and luxury vinyl tile. We don't only sell you a product. At Carpet Express, we offer quality installation backed by a warranty. We don't stock one or two products. At Carpet Express, we stock up to 100 different products in each category at affordable prices. So come to Carpet Express where we care about you. I'm Kelsey with the Chick-fil-A here in Dalton, and we're partnering again this year with the Dalton Quarterback Club to provide you an awesome tailgate meal each home game starting at 5.30. Be sure to be here by 6 o'clock for the catwalk and get your Chick-fil-A meal with Coke products sold separately. Chick-fil-A of Dalton reminds you to eat more chicken. And go Big Red! Oh, that's Cooper. Most people like to adopt the younger dogs. But one day your time will come, huh, Cooper? Sweetheart, what about this puppy? Honey puppies. Hmm? Mommy, Daddy, that's it, that's the one. The Coldwell Banker Homes for Dogs Project has helped find homes for thousands of shelter dogs. How's your tea? Because our agents don't just understand real estate, they understand what home is all about. Welcome back to Catamount Football and Coach Lane. Let's talk a little bit about it. Hard to believe Week Ten is now in the books and, and final regular season game against Osborne. 61-0 was the final score. Yep. You know, I, I, one of those situations going into the game, uh, you really you, you knew what was going to happen. Uh, certainly. Um, you know the teams that are competitive within your region, the teams that are not. Uh, certainly some regions have more than, than others or some less than others. Uh, but, but certainly by week 10, when you've had a, a, a pretty dismal season, then obviously you, you, you certainly know uh, it's, it's going to be a rough game. But I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I sent an email to the coach um, on a Saturday morning uh, just how – proud I, I was of their guys. I thought they fought the entire game. Uh, it was one of those situations where clearly uh, we had a, a, a dominant team. Uh, their numbers are, are way down, uh, but I just was so proud. I mean, th those kids fought the, from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. You didn't see guys giving up and quitting, nope. and I think that's a testimony to, to, to the head coach and his staff, and the fact that they are they're changing the culture. I mean, this team four years ago is playing a non-region schedule, right. and whether they were forced back into it or whether they were they asked to be back in, certainly it was a challenge. Uh, but like I said, I, from a game standpoint, uh, talking about just just Osborne, very proud of the way that 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 they competed for 48 minutes. And I think you know a couple of things we noticed being down there. One, obviously, was the construction. Yeah. Uh, they're rebuilding Beautiful the campus. school. Rebuilding yeah. the school. Yeah. It's going to be very nice when they get through with it. Uh, but I thought the enthusiasm of the band, oh. of the the fans that were there, uh, their PA guy was something. I've never Man. heard anybody. He read our entire <laughs> roster. <laughs> top to bottom. <laughs> top to bottom. From number one <laughs> to number name. whatever, high, every no, 99. Yeah, read every name throughout the whole thing. I well, he had good. such a uh, – we had the opportunity to meet him before – uh, but before the game, I was up visiting with Brandon Brown and, and uh, uh, just looking at their new, they've got a new press box last year, and so I was up looking at it, and he came in and, and had his granddaughter with him, uh, and she was, she was, I mean, she was a small thing, and man, she was a pistol, but he matched every bit of her energy, but you know, he made the game what, what a high school game is about. I mean, there was moments I didn't know that if I was at a, 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 like a, a waiting reception yeah. uh, and, and then you'd turn around and the next thing was a, a you know, WWE Monday you know, Night Raw you know, announcing the names or who made a play. But you know, that, that, my hat's off to them because mm -hmm. they, they take pride in their program, take pride in their campus. Talking about our kids, our players, I'm going to tell you I'm very proud of our players because that's a tough situation. Be sandwiched between a, a disappointing loss with Altoona and then sitting there looking at 
a very, very big game coming right. up, the number one team in the state. And so with that being the case, kind of be sandwiched there, but I thought their focus, I thought their effort, I thought that their, their, just their, their mental, uh, you know, just being in the moment, we mm-hmm. talked a lot about that last week, was, was just outstanding. And I think that's reflection, obviously, of you coaches. You did an outstanding job, and I think also our leadership, they did an outstanding job of keeping them, you know, keeping the main thing the main thing, and then getting to this point where we're at today, which is now getting ready to play the number one team in the state of Georgia. Offensively, um, Jameer ended up with, uh, what, 200 and uh, – Yeah, right at just a little, little over 225 yards. yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah 20 carries. Almost 2,300 for the – twenty or Almost 2,500. 20, 2,500. Yeah, he's like right at 2,486, something like that. 40 touchdowns. That's right, scored. 40 touchdowns, yeah. So yeah. That, that was uh, – certainly he played, the I guess, the first half of the game. Then yeah, was out first half, and, and that was – Actually, we took him out about three minutes left in the, right. in the second quarter. So. Had a young Young fellow Luke Blanchard, yeah, show, young exciting. freshman, showed off his uh, speed asset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. He can I mean, run very fast. He can, and I'm sure that there was a little bit of a doubt that he could do what he did uh, by some of the guys on the field, and he certainly showed that uh, speed is an asset. Of Another his. week back for Landon. Uh, yeah, you know, center. absolutely. It's good to get he and, and you know we're still trying to get our timing back between he and Hunter, he and Kareem. Uh, and, 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 and some of those receivers, events and Vignette. So we're still working on that, but certainly we took some strides the other night. Spent, we knew the game would get lopsided quickly, so we tried to throw as much in that first and second quarter as we could, uh, and you'll see that in the highlights, and then we kind of settled in and kind of, I guess you'd say, just kind of did what we had to do, not, not necessarily what we wanted to do. Anytime you get a shutout, defense is happy, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Defense did an outstanding job. Oh. You know, they had less than 65 yards total offense. Uh, and, uh, you know, was very, for lack of a better phrase, it was very pedestrian game, wasn't many big plays, if any. Uh, I think the big thing that comes away from a defensive standpoint is they got to play, as with offense, a lot of young guys. Mm-hmm. And we'll talk about that when we're going through the highlights. It's good to get everybody on that everybody sideline, yeah. freshmen to seniors. We dressed about six or seven freshmen that were with us practicing this week, helping our scout team in some places. We carried those guys with us and dressed those guys. And certainly uh, glad to see all of our, our JV guys and then those freshmen get in and compete. Pete. And once again, you just want to see them on film. Absolutely. Uh, very good. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in just a minute. Hi, my name is Charles R. Hicks Sr. I'm the owner of Transformers Transmission Complete All Repair Specialist, and we are excited. It is football season. Another thing that we're excited about is our new facility opening here at 844 Sugar Road in Dalton, Georgia. Our other location at 815 East Walnut Avenue is still open to help continue your car service. So just give us a call at 706-529-2706. And from the Transformers family, God God bless bless and and have have a beautiful beautiful day. day. With VidLink, OptiLink's exciting new entertainment platform, you'll have the freedom to stream VidLink content on multiple devices, even when away from home. Plus, with VidLink, you can access the widest array of content on the market. You'll get great features like Restart, Replay, Cloud-based DVR storage, all HD programming, and so much more. Contact us today to see how you can get linked to the next big thing in video entertainment. Buy from the pros who know at Proformance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Proformance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com Back on the Catamount Football Show, we've got our coaches interview segment. We've got Coach Jim Bennett. Coach, welcome to the show. Happy to be here, Bill. All right. We're glad you, we're glad you made it. We had you on earlier in this year, and we had a little mm. scheduling conflict. We got you on tonight. I just totally forgot about it the last <laughs> time. <laughs> All right. So let's, talk, let's jump right in with uh, your responsibilities with the Catamount football team this year. Uh, I coach defensive tackles and um, still help out in the equipment room. But, so you're uh, now... Adam Martinez is flunky. Is that the uh, appropriate a, uh, term? Equipment consultant. Equipment consultant. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how has that been? Tra- that, that's a job that you had for a long time at Dalton. Uh, how has that been transitioning that over to Coach Martinez and you guys working together? And uh, Adam's real easy to work with. You know, yeah. we worked together for several years before we got into administration. So, uh, um, you know, 
he knows how I like to do things, and, and now he's kind of tweaking it and you know making it fit the way he likes to do it. But uh, Adam's doing a really good job. So uh, that was the original plan. We'll have him ready to take over when I retired. So uh, he's doing a good job. Yeah. So every time I get, we get you on here, I like to talk to you about about the equipment a little bit before we talk about defensive line stuff. Um, so now, what you know, <coughs> each year we talk about the cost to outfit a player. What what what, what would you estimate now? 2019, what's the cost to outfit a, a kid? At least $1,000. $1,000. You know, uh, your helmets are going to run anywhere from uh, from 250 to uh, to 400 and then there's a couple of companies out there right now. Um, they have a program set up that uh, uh, their helmets are about $1,100. And, uh, but... You know, they have a finance plan, and they're supposedly the highest-rated helmets. But uh, So let's talk about that a little bit. That's become a huge, uh, I guess, a huge point of emphasis for people is the CTE. You hear about that with NFL players, sometimes with college players, concussions. What, what, what advancements have they made? What has been done? And what do we do to try to get our kids as well protected as possible? Well, everybody looks at the Virginia Tech study or the Virginia Tech writing where um, – um, they test helmets every year, uh, and they give you anywhere from one to a five-star rating, five being the best. Uh, all the helmets we have are five-star rated, um, you know, but in that five-star range, they've got a little different scores, but uh, they're all five-star rated. Uh, what they're working with now is trying to make the helmet more absorbent to a blow. Um, you know, I saw an ad the other day, and I, you, I don't know if you remember when Willie Lanier played years ago. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, he had a, like a foam thing that went on the outside of his helmet. And uh, I saw a company the other day had revitalized or had redesigned that, that, that type of thing. Uh, so, you know, they're making a lot of strides just trying to make it safer. You know, the big thing is, you know, we try to teach our kids correct technique and how to tackle and how to do everything right. Most of your injuries occur when the kid doesn't, they drop their head. That, 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 that's yeah. a great point that you bring up because the combination of, of the, the best equipment plus proper coaching and technique right. really goes a long way in preventing injuries, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, I told the kids tonight, um, there's no helmet out there that will protect your neck if you drop your head. And you, you can, you know, the Vice's helmet I think is retails for about $1,500. It doesn't protect, protect your neck, and as long as you're dropping your head and your first point of contact with your head, there's nothing you can do about it. So we really emphasize, especially on our end of our side, uh, we we tackle three, at least three days a week, uh, and emphasize correct technique the whole time. You know, and that's one of the things. That, you know, some of the rule changes that we've experienced in in high school football in the last few years. One of them being con limits on the amount of contact. Right. They're, I know what they're trying to do. But in essence, really, if you don't have the ability to, to hit and teach them how to hit, right. you're, you're kind of setting them up for failure, right? Yeah. We, uh, again, we'll, we'll tackle three days a week. Um, we rotate to different stations. Uh, so each coach, each defensive coach gets a chance to look at the kids uh, at their station and uh, try to correct it and, again, emphasize, you know, as I tell the kids, you know, if you look at it, if you drop your head, your arms get a whole lot shorter. Um, but... ESPN's had a lot to do with it because everybody wants to make that highlight lick, but they're right. not teaching them how to tackle. And uh, you don't knock a good running back down. You've got to grab a hold of him and you've got to take him down. So uh, we emphasize the arm wrap up uh, and whipping and grabbing on. Talk about your position group a little bit. You're working with the defensive line guys and been doing that for a long time. Long time. Uh, was the offensive line coach for that? We've, 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 I, I, I we've don't discussed believe it. that. I told yeah. you I don't believe it. Okay. Uh, that was back before you could hold legally. <laughs> uh, you know, but. Uh, uh, I coach the nose and tackles, uh, and we've got a really good group this time. Got guys that have, have played for me for four years now, and um, we've been able to do some things. We're not big, uh, so we have to rely on speed and um, you know speed and technique. And uh, our kids are doing a much better job using their hands now. Um, and you know, you know, again from your side of the ball. Uh, Everybody, if you can't use your hands now, it's really hard to play. What do you think is the toughest technique or skill to teach a, a, a defensive lineman? For the young kids, it's pass rush, I think. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, they all want to run into the guy and try to bull rush instead of working one side or working the shoulder. And, you know, we emphasize or try to emphasize get the kid to play a half man and work that shoulder, make the offensive lineman move his feet. You know, we, we've worked together enough right. and you've heard me yell at him. <clears throat> Excuse me, you heard me raise my voice, don't <laughs> yell at him. Uh, about attacking one point or the other and making the offensive lineman shuffle his feet. I really feet. like it when they attack Manny right down the middle. I know. Concrete uh, you know, block. It, yes, <laughs> you, know, we've, you know, I've got a 180 pound guy running into a guy that weighs 300 pounds yeah. and, you know, <laughs> expects to, to whip him and it just doesn't happen. So. Uh, you know, just aiming points, and when you read pass, this is where I've got to attack. Uh, flipping your hips, and, and 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 again, making the offensive lineman move his feet. All right, well, very good. Thanks for coming on the show. It's always a pleasure. We appreciate everything you do for Catamount football. Uh, we appreciate you, Bill. All right, stay right here. We'll be back with more Catamount football after these messages. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership, offers our exclusive 10-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty and our $1,000 low-price guarantee. Ford of Dalton, I-75, exit 336, or FordofDalton.com. Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. At Engineered Floors, we make sure better is in every detail. Technology has always been the foundation of Engineered Floors, pushing past what we believed was possible. Rather than having several buildings for each part of our manufacturing process, we put everything under one roof, from beginning to end, which means easier production, faster turnarounds, and better work environments. When it comes to the environment, we've taken extra care to leave a smaller footprint, especially as we grow. Stain resistant, pet friendly, durable, beautiful, guaranteed. We create our flooring with our customers and their daily needs in mind. We are invested in this community and the economy that has been created by the industry we love. And after all of this, we still know that we can do more. As long as our customers need us, we'll continue to fearlessly pursue better. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership, offers our exclusive 10-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty and our $1,000 low-price guarantee. Ford of Dalton, I-75, exit 336, or FordofDalton.com. Why should you make the switch to First Bank of Dalton? My bank gives back to our community. My bank understands our changing needs. My bank made my dream home my home. My bank has the tools I need to manage my business. My bank helps me save. My bank makes decisions locally. Need more reasons? Stop by and see why First Bank of Dalton should be your bank for life. Big things are happening at Hamilton. Anna Shaw Children's Institute, People's Cancer Institute, new physician practices near you, and Hamilton Medical Center is number one for overall hospital care. Hamilton Healthcare System, health for life. Are you tired of driving to Chattanooga to have a great dinner? Look no further than Walnut Hill Farm right here in Whitfield County. We are now serving dinner on Thursday and Friday nights. Our team of Matt Barrett and Jason Joseph have put together what we believe is the finest menu in Whitfield County. With a wine selection of over 50 bottles and 50 miles of mountain range in the background, this will be your go-to for romantic dinners and dinner with friends. We look forward to seeing you out here, 5 o'clock on Thursday and Friday nights. We're back on the Catamount Football Show, and we've got a special guest. We've got Doug Renz from the Northwest Georgia Football Officials Association. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Thank All right, you. so first question is, how did you get into officiating? What made you decide, because it's a thankless job, what made you decide you wanted to uh, subject yourself to this? Um, I get that question all the time, Bill. Okay. And a, a professor of mine at Georgia asked me what I was going to do with my father when I got out of school. 
And um, I Dad told her, called holding on me too one time. Several times, yes. I'm sure. Um, and I told her, I said, you know, he officiates high school football. I think I'll give it a try. And so now 37, 37 years later, um, I'm still officiating. Wow. I didn't yeah. realize you'd been doing it for that long. Started when I was now you, young. you also did some college work too, right? Um, I called with the uh, South Atlantic Conference and also on the supplemental staff of the ACC for 12 years. Um, so that was a, a nice experience, but a lot of travel, more right. travels involved in that than in high school football. Uh, but I had a great opportunity when I did that. So one of the things that we're constantly hearing um, is, is lack of officials. Talk about that. Talk about what you guys are doing to try to get some more young people in. I know the average age of officials is going up and um, what steps are you guys taking and what do you need, you know, do you use this platform to advertise, I guess? Sure, sure. There's a shortage of high school officials across the country um, in all sports. Um, it, it is a thankless job. Uh, one of the biggest reasons we lose officials is um, sportsmanship from out, of, out of parents and out mm -hmm. of fans. Um, we, if we can get a new official to be with us in two to three years, then I've got them. But I lose a lot of the new officials after the first and second year because of the, uh, some of the challenges we face. And it's at all levels from rec ball uh, to middle school to high school. Um, it's, it's pretty tough sometimes. So explain the progression. What kind of, what kind of training, what kind of um, classes or camps or all the different sure. stuff that's available if you, you know, for, for these guys as you start taking them through the process? Sure. So each year we have a, a, a camp that's offered by Georgia High School Association and um, all officials are required to go to that camp. When we take a new official, um, we're not going to put them on the varsity field first year. They'll start working uh, rec ball, uh, middle school ball, and then from there um, we'll try to start working into scrimmages and, and see how they progress. Uh, we have had new officials have come on the field and been on the field there for varsity game, and that's, uh, that's rare, uh, but we do want to try to get them on the field as quickly as possible. We'll start taking new officials in when the, um, we start having spring scrimmages. Mm -hmm. um, that's a great time to get them in. And, and for them, to, we try to encourage them to do rec ball, but also to do middle school because the, the game is much slower. Um, because each level you progress up, the game gets faster and faster and faster. Um, so we work with new officials <coughs> as much as we can and get them on the varsity field as quickly as possible. Um, in addition to that, we actually have a training secretary that does specific training just for new officials every year. And I think one other thing that, that it's interesting, and I've seen it a few times, each week uh, there's a video sent out, right, of, yes. of, hey, look at this. Talk about that a little bit, the benefit of that, what's on those videos. So we watch Huddle, which is a tool that we watch films um, as much as the coaches do. <clears throat> so each week we have in our association, we have a film that's generated by one of the gentlemen, Eric McDonald, and he gets clips from the week and shows us. And also we get a, cl a film clip from Georgia High School Association. That's in addition to watching your own film. So we'll watch films, share plays, and we actually have coaches sometimes complain every once in a while about calls and send us plays to take a look at calls. Mm -hmm. uh, but training on the video has been a huge, huge impact and very beneficial for all of us. Right, so they're able to see, hey guys, look, look at this. This was enforced incorrect, or whatever. I mean, what what type of issues are on that? Well, we'll, we'll see things uh, in, in, in enforcement uh, errors with mm -hmm. penalties not enforced correctly, and then sometimes there are calls that that are made that are a little suspect, and so we have to look at those and try to teach them. Uh, we we have a thing. There's the philosophy in officiating. Uh, one is that uh, is the is the foul at the point of attack. And second, is there an advantage or disadvantage gained or loss at this particular fraction? Explain what you mean by that, because some people may not. So point of attack, and so if this is the line, uh, we have uh, receivers on this side of the field, and the ball ends up running on this side of the field. If I got a guy's chicken fight over here, that's not the point of attack. The point right. of attack is where the ball is. Right. Uh, now, the other is advantage, disadvantage. So if I got guys chicken fighting over here, there's really not an advantage of what's going on over here. Did he hold him? Yes. But did it create an advantage or disadvantage? And third thing, if it's a player safety issue, we encourage our officials to call those all the time. What, and what type of situations player safety go into some of those? Uh, player safety is that um, when you see somebody, we, we call decleating somebody, yeah. then a blindside block came in a couple years ago, and that's been a very serious block. Uh, leading with the head um, is very important. So Face mask. Face mask, horse twist collar. and turn, horse collars. So anytime that's going <coughs> to create an injury, our, our possibility with a player, we want to make sure we call those fouls. Now, I think horse collar is one that gets misunderstood quite a bit, right? And 
Yeah, I mean, I, coaches, I've yelled, hey, that's what, you know, <laughs> explain if somebody's watching a game and, and they grab them by the, you know, the side or wherever. It, so the, what, what's it take it, to get that call? So it actually, when there's a, an abrupt movement, when you actually have the guy's knees buckle, if the guy's knees buckle pulling from the back, from the back of the jersey or from the side and you cause him to buckle, um, we're going to call that. That is a, it was considered a horse collar. Um, now, if you drag, you get grabbed the back of the jersey and he drags down the field for ways and he falls forward, that is not a horse collar. Even right. though he may have the inside of the collar of the shirt, unless he causes the knees to buckle, then we're not going to call that. What do you think the, the toughest play to, to judge or to call? Is it, is it pass interference? Is it holding? I mean, what, what do you think? I'd say the, pass interference is probably one of the most difficult. Yeah. And then holding, you know, because um, there, there's holding on every play. You can actually look what? on every play, Coach, I promise you, every play. There's holding. So we try to look at that advantage, disadvantage, just at the point of attack. Um, so on, those two are probably the most difficult. Yeah. The pass interference is probably the most difficult one. So we look at the pass interference. Did the defender impede the receiver's opportunity to catch the ball? Um, so, you know, last year in high school, we, we allowed face guarding. National Federation face guarding is okay as long as there's no contact. Um, but the, I'd say the holding plays right there behind pass interference. Talk about how the play clock on the field now and the, 40, and, and the change to the 40-second clock, how, how has that impacted the game? What have, from your standpoint, what have you seen? You know, I think it's, it, it helps the game be more um, in sync with going on. So before, some referees were slow blowing balls ready for play, and, and myself, I run a quick game because I, I, I like things click along, so the 40-second clock has not impacted my crew at all. Um, some schools like to have hurry-up offenses. Uh, sometimes I think we slow them down a little bit. Uh, some want to take their uh, full time, take the full 40 seconds. But I think it's kind of it's speeding the game up and trying to make it a little faster. Yeah. Get, say that Georgia's moving into playoffs, first round of playoffs this week. Yes. How, how, explain how officials are assigned to playoff games and how that works. So uh, Georgia High School will assign <laughs> our booking secretary games, um, and we may get four or five games this week. And then we have, we actually right now we have five crews um, out of our association. We have three crews that will actually be evaluated by the state to be able to advance to the next round. Um, so we'll get four or five games this week, and then the following week, obviously there's fewer games, and uh, we have no clue where we're going to go. So I'll, I'll get an email tomorrow morning and find out where I'm going this Friday. Right, it could be. It could be all over the state of Georgia. Right? All over the Georgia. Hey, explain real quick how, how the uh, how the evaluations work, what it, and and how that impacts moving down the moving down the line in the playoffs. So there's a there's a group of official fellow officials out of the state that will actually evaluate film. So I had to send in so the last three weeks I actually submit my huddle film along with my penalty report. And within that penalty report I have to identify every single play number within huddle. So play number seventeen we had a holding, it was on, you know, the home team, number seventy three, the penalty was accepted or declined, um, and then which official called it. Mm -hmm. So they actually go back and review our films and look at that and see how we called. So it's uh, very strenuous. Okay. So before we before we wrap up here, I got a question and you may not know the answer to this question, but this is one of the pet peeves for me in uh, rules by the NFHS. When a team kicks a field goal, say you kick a field goal from the 40-yard line and the ball goes in the end zone, and, but you miss it, the ball goes to the 20. Correct. Why does it, what's the point? Why does it come back to, to the line of scrimmage where the ball was kicked from? That's just the difference, and a lot of people don't realize the difference between National Federation rules, college rules, and pro rules. There are three different sets of rules. I get that, but I want... It's just always been it's gone to the 20, considered a uh, touchback, and it goes rule. to the 20. Bad rule. Like so we just enforce the rules. We don't make them. Uh, we do actually get to influence the rules each year. We'll submit to the National Federation things where we think changes should be S made in rules. That one for absolutely, submit that one for you. Yeah, you I agree with that. Somebody one. for missing a field goal, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for everything that you do. We appreciate uh, we appreciate you guys, and as much as I like to pick on y'all, we certainly <laughs> appreciate what you do. We couldn't play the games without you guys. So. Uh, all coaches uh, certainly appreciate y'all's efforts. Well, thank you for having me, Bill. Appreciate it. All right. So right here back with more Catamount football in a few minutes. You know what makes Carpet Express different from other foreign companies? We care about you so that you can make the right choice for your home. At Carpet Express, we offer carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, ceramic tile, and luxury vinyl tile. We don't only sell you a product, 
At Carpet Express, we offer quality installation backed by a warranty. We don't stock one or two products. At Carpet Express, we stock up to 100 different products in each category at affordable prices. So come to Carpet Express where we care about you. Blue. Blue is big. You've got the deep blue sea, the big blue sky, and more people in more countries like blue than any other color. That's big. And in the world of real estate, blue stands for one of the biggest brands. Caldwell Banker. 91,000 agents across 47 countries gives you a super-powered Rolodex and the marketplace muscle of a brand recognized from Indiana to India. So join the blue. Join Caldwell Banker and start doing bigger, better, and bluer things in real estate. I think Osborne had all their seniors as their captains. That was great. I loved how everybody's heads went to the ground yeah. at the same time. Synchronized. It was a little chilly. Well, I tell you what, it was a good football night, though. Good football night. J.J. Robledo on our, on our kickoff there down to about the four. Good job right here. Gabe Hill, who's been a big hitter for us this year. Come out right off the bat. Gabe makes a great hit right there, Ryan LaRue, and uh, once again, Christian Alama. You see right there, just a great job of those guys building a wall. And that guy, that kid's shoes threw me off all, all night. I yeah. kept thinking there was flags on the ground. Good job <laughs> by Gabe Hill there on the block. They were definitely neon. Right there, great play. Coming up from behind right there and getting a fumble recovery there by Parker Adams. You'll see right here, good pursuit from the backside. Gabe turns it in and actually hits his elbow. And uh, like I said, uh, uh, Parker Adams coming in on the, uh, on the recovery. So we get the ball on the 9 or 10 yard line, wherever we were. And, and, and you might want to explain what we did on well, this, we, this play. We, this is a neat little thing yeah, we Yeah, we came year. out with all of our senior uh, on offense. Had had 11 seniors out there, including seven senior offensive linemen, but we couldn't score. Yeah, that's <laughs> that right. Was, that was a little frustrating. It was. Good job right here. John Ross does a good job of sacking him, and he fumbles the ball, and Tyson Swope recovers it. We thought it was a safety, it wound up being a touchdown. So good to see Tyson Swope get on the uh, on the board for us right here. You see right here, good pursuit coming off the backside. Good tackle right there, stripping the ball out. Form tackle, great job. Defensive guys, they don't know. They they might even sure how to celebrate. They're so excited. That's right. What do you do with this thing? That's great. You know? That's awesome. Going to need some of that. So seven nothing early. And that's uh, XLK Esteban Abara, senior kicker coming in for us, former uh, defensive lineman, and uh, he kicked in the first half for us. Woo! Great job right there, Brock Johnson, almost on the pick six. Come back, get the ball, run buck sweep, and Jameer just takes it. It's good blocking, right? Yeah, it was a short. <laughs> it was a short we don't corner. Know, but, uh, yeah, you'll see right here. Just it's a quick kick. You see Manny and and Brant there, and then Jameer just turns it straight up field. Takes it in the end zone. Once again, good kickoff right here, down all the way. Once again, A.J. Hernandez and Eve Vincent Vignay on the tackle right there. Love to see good sportsmanship. Ryan LaRue right here on the pursuit. Good job making the tackle right there. John Ross coming up right there. Gabe Hill again, saying his name a lot tonight. Come back. Get the ball to Jameer. Well, actually, had run this play earlier, and he got called. Uh, had a holding penalty, and he got called back. It was a touchdown. And so we just ran it Came again. Came back and ran it again a play or two later. <laughs> See, uh, and I told Edre today, I said, Jameer outran you twice. Yeah, really? <laughs> what are you doing, Edre? <laughs> Why are you letting him pass you like that? Good job of those guys getting downfield. Absolutely. A little screen pass here. The screens are tough for high school uh, linemen because you can't go downfield and cut. You can't go downfield and throw. And you see him trying to get down there and stalk those guys and come back with counter. Jameer takes it in the end zone. Yeah. Tell you, they had they're number 51 for them on defense. He played offense, too. That guy played. There you see him right there taking yeah. on, taking on uh, Brant. He played, he played hard all night long. 
Good job, good rotation right there out of the out of the tackle. Once again, Esteban Navarro comes in and kicks it. Twenty to nothing. Good job right there. Great pressure right there by Lane Cox. Gets rid of the ball early. Throws a wobbler right there, and Brady Penley on his pickoff on the interception. I think it's his second of the year. Does a good job of running it back, getting it down to about the 19-yard line. I see Mr. Bartu over there on the sidelines. I told him before the game he looked like that little kid <laughs> from uh, A Christmas Story <laughs> in the snowsuit yeah. when he <laughs> gets knocked over. He Ralphie. Was, he, yeah, he was, Ralphie. Bundled, he was bundled up. Yeah, I think it brought out the bundle in a lot of people yeah, this absolutely. week. Come back on offense. Good throw and catch right there. Good to see Hunter and, and Landon connecting again after being out. Landon put enough, just enough air into that football yeah. to keep the defensive back from being able to get a hand on it. Right here, we certainly we don't like seeing that ball sit on the ground and roll, but Jameer does a good job of picking it up. We pick up some few good, few good blocks right here. And, of course, Jameer does what Jameer does, which is just glide. Yep. Great job. Love seeing that convoy, those guys get down there. Good to see that excitement. Oh, there's and a penalty. There, there's a penalty. That's exactly right. Yeah. So we'll come back and... You asked him if he was okay, he said yes, and so we give it to him again, and there he goes down the sidelines. <laughs> Stepped out of bounds. Good job of landing right here, getting job. what he needs to get. It's two weeks in a row he's made a, uh, a nice run to pick up a first down. Did yeah. it against Altoon, and then did it again this week. Absolutely. Smart, sees the change and gets himself out of bounds. Coming back, running a little counter play. Nice job of Hunter and Vince blocking downfield too. The guys at the point of attack do a good job, but those two receivers did a nice job down there. You'll see them right here. Yeah, good kick right yeah, there. Good kick by Dre, good, good grab. But there's seven and 25 just engaging their, their guys, and that allows Jameer to just glide in on into the end zone. Yep. And Pepe Lara comes back in. Now 33 to nothing. Good job right here by our defense, flushing it out. Love seeing Caleb Hernandez have another solid game for us. Very important that he plays well for us, leading coming into the playoffs. Looks like they wanted to run some, quarter, some sort of quarterback counter there. Great job of our guys whipping them right there at the point of attack. Get the ball back. <clears throat> Good throw right there by Landon to Karim. Pretty good protection, another throw. You know, explain, I mean, we need to work on our passing game, right? That's we're right. not we're not trying to no. run up the score on these no, guys. No, we're, no, we're no, 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 not at all. We're trying to work on our passing game and That's right. get some things ready for the playoffs. So Absolutely. So yeah, good job to get these get the, uh, see these routes on film, get, get them, uh, yeah, get they, the guys some live We need the experience them. of it. I mean, the big thing right there is the timing, though. I mean, right. that's just what you can't get in practice. I uh, mean, here you got to be in full speed mode. You got to be able to get in there and really see the breaks off of people, all those kind of things. Good job by Christian Morgan, seventy-four, right there. Yeah, we kind of built that play on the uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. in the moment. Great job of our offensive line uh, making some adjustments right there. Once again, Pepe Lara, another great job coming in there. Nope. It's a fumble. Yeah, big job right there, Mauricio Quintero. Good job pulling him away. Balls on the ground, Gabe. Does a great job of coming up with it. Come back. Run buck sweep. Very effortless. Yes. Oh, this is stretch. Sorry, this is not buck sweep. Yep. This is stretch. I saw Brand out there in front and forgot what we'd run. Good snap and hold. Good kick. So 46 to nothing, going into halftime. 
Trying to get warm. That's right. Hot chocolate time. <laughs>《It's place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. Hi, I'm Dr. Reginald Sherrill. Are you tired of sweaty underarms and dealing with deodorant stains on your clothes? We're performing a procedure called Mirror Dry. It's safe, non-invasive, sweat and odor free, deodorant free. It is clinically proven and FDA approved. I've had the procedure and it really works. The procedure takes about one hour. It's local anesthesia and works immediately. Call our office, Dalton Plastic Surgery, 706-226-226. 3311. Come back and we've got uh, Ashton Blackwell at quarterback. Good to have him back and Absolutely. Got Josh Moore in the backfield and uh, Fabio Garcia playing left guard. So we've got some young guys. There's Vince <laughs> running down the field with the football. Good job by those guys. Here he is again. Gets it down about the 23, 24 yard line. Now come back the other way, the same play with Maurice. Good job by the receivers and Josh getting down there locking on those guys. Yeah, not a lot of resistance there. No, at this point, they. I mean, I think it was just we were. Everybody's wanting the clock to run. Yep, great job right there, Bryson Benton, one of our young guys, Fuller Vineyard. Love seeing these young guys start getting in. Right there, you see David Garcia, uh, you see Cesar Murillo, uh Dylan Center. Love seeing some of these young guys right here. Good pressure off the edge. Brandon Arandondo making a great play right there. Josue Lopez coming back on offense. Want to get Josh a few carries uh, with some of the older offensive line guys. We're going to need him in the playoffs. Absolutely. Now we've got the young fellas in, and here's young Luke Blanchard, number 31, just showing off some speed. Yep. You know, Bill kind of reminds me of you pulling. Absolutely. Back from some of those <laughs> films in the 80s. That's right. See it again. Charlie Patrick, Hayden Sumner, Hezekiah. Who else is in there? Rodrigo. And Isaac. And uh, Jared Torres. Yep. I'll help you with those guys out there on the, yeah. uh, the <laughs> Fisher McElrath. Those guys did a great job right there. So, big hit right there. Great job right there. Love seeing that. That's John Ridley on his first sack. As a freshman, great job seeing him slant in there. You'll see right here. The Veer Killer's off, younger brother. The Veer Killer's younger brother. That's right, 2.0. That's right. That right there, the new and improved version. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it. Love seeing old Nick get Back excited there, too. Here. Run power, and that's our, one of our freshman running backs. That's right. Got to hang on that football. That's right. Tyson Greenway. That's right, Tyson. Good job right there. And now Ashton pulls it and keeps it. And I think this might be the last play of the game. It is. It is. A great job there by our young Catamounts. Why should you make the switch to First Bank of Dalton? My bank gives back to our community. My bank understands our changing needs. My bank made my dream home my home. My bank has the tools I need to manage my business. My bank helps me save. My bank makes decisions locally. Need more reasons? Stop by and see why First Bank of Dalton should be your bank for life. 
Big things are happening at Hamilton. Anna Shaw Children's Institute, People's Cancer Institute, new physician practices near you, and Hamilton Medical Center is number one for overall hospital care. Hamilton Healthcare System, health for life. Are you tired of driving to Chattanooga to have a great dinner? Look no further than Walnut Hill Farm right here in Whitfield County. We are now serving dinner on Thursday and Friday nights. Our team of Matt Barrett and Jason Joseph have put together what we believe is the finest menu in Whitfield County. With a wine selection of over 50 bottles and 50 miles of mountain range in the background, this will be your go-to for romantic dinners and dinner with friends. We look forward to seeing you out here, five o'clock on Thursday and Friday nights. Coach, let's talk a little bit about the Decula Falcons, who mm. are our opponent this week. Yeah, very, very good football team. Very, very good football team. Uh, uh, a team that uh, for four years uh, in a row has won the region championship. Last year lost to Northside Warner Robins in the uh, semifinals. Um, a team that uh, is, first of all, experienced, very playoff experienced. They've made deep, deep, deep runs. Uh, a good friend of mine, Tommy Jones, was the former head coach. Uh, who's at Cedar Bluff now, but his defensive coordinator, Clint Jenkins, is now the head coach. I do not know Coach Jenkins, but I do know enough from watching film to know they're very well coached, very mm -hmm. disciplined. They will not beat themselves, and they will force us to make errors. That, that's, that's what I see when I watch them, both sides of the ball, offense and defense. Uh, they're a team that's certainly experienced as players. Uh, the uh, the, the uh, offense returns eight seniors, eight starters. Uh, and was very, very senior heavy. Eight seniors, two juniors, and one sophomore. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, certainly you, you, uh, they, nine returns, nine starters they had to replace, but of those nine starters they had to replace, they've replaced it with five seniors, five, sophomore, five juniors, and one sophomore. Uh, multiple players with D1 offers. Uh, they only have about four or five kids that will play at some time both ways. They certainly like us, they two platoon, but they've got some guys that have to step in there and play. Uh, just speaking about them offensively, quarterback is a, com is a Georgia Southern baseball commit, middle infielder and pitcher. Uh, probably we've heard that somewhere before, right? Yeah. Qu a quarterback well, being a Georgia Southern? That's right, and I, and I would tell you this from a 30,000 foot view, uh, this team is a, I, it's almost like playing, in fact, I, I told the team today, uh, it's like playing the 2016 Dalton Catamounts mm -hmm. again. Uh, quarterback is a baseball player, very headsy, very smart, great leader, uh, not the guy that's going to make every play, but he makes no bad plays. Uh, keeps you in a good formation every time, checks you out of all the bad plays and the bad looks. So from an offensive standpoint, or speaking about them offensively, very, very dangerous, a lot of skill, Three receivers, all D1-esque uh, type receivers. They all have offers. Uh, they're kind of their, their number one guy is a 10-700 meter, which if you know anything about track, uh, that's very good. That's very, very good. Uh, and so at the end of the day, from an offensive standpoint, this is going to be a team that's going to nickel and dime you. They're going to beat you up with the quick pass, with the short runs, and then once you draw up to stop that run, they're going to put it deep. A couple of good-sized offensive linemen that have some Ivy League offers, UTCs mm -hmm. and things like that. So that's it. From an offensive standpoint, they're going to be very, very talented defensively. Uh, they're a 3-4 scheme, uh, which we've seen quite <laughs> Slash a bit. Slash 5-2. Yeah, yeah, the, old <laughs> the Dalton, way they play. Some of the old Dalton <laughs> people remember the 5-2 Dalton defense. That's, that's right. What, that you, that's what you'll see yeah. uh, a lot of the game. And I think the thing we'll see from them <clears throat> is I think that they appear to be very confident in who they are defensively. Absolutely. And I don't think we'll see where we've seen some uh, really different fronts and movements and things by some teams. I think they'll line up and say, we're confident enough in who we are. Yeah, we're the number one team. You guys beat us. That's right. Uh, I think the thing to look for on their front line is their pad leverage. They do a great job well, they do. of staying low. Uh, they really do. Talking to the offensive linemen today, we've got to get our pad levels down. Uh, when you see when they get up under an offensive lineman, they'll drive them back, and mm -hmm. you know they've got we've got to play lower uh, with those guys. Very physical. Uh, it, it should be a it should be a really good. I'm excited about the matchup for us offensively versus versus their defense. If you were comparing them to, uh, if if you're a fan coming to this game, 
what should that fan expect? What's a team that we've played this year that might give you a good anticipation of what we're playing? Uh, probably the best two defenses we've seen up until this point have been Harrison and Altoona. No doubt. <clears throat> and no I would doubt. say they're a, a mixture maybe uh, of both. I, I think Harrison yeah. maybe did some things better than they do, but they do some things better than Harrison. And then Altoona had some things better than them, but, but they do some things better than Altoona. I, th I think, uh, you know, thinking back at Harrison – the tackling, mm. the I mean, they That's were true. such yeah. great. They're 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 open field tackling. Yes, yeah, very good. Very I good. mean, just very. And then the defensive line of Altoona, yeah, uh, was was really That's good. That's probably a good. Yeah, that that com that combination. Yeah, that front defensive front of of Altoona coupled with the secondary. Yep. From an offensive standpoint, Harrison is really the team you got to look at. Uh, that's exactly what they're going to do. I mean, they're going to nickel and dime you. They're going to they're going to RPO you. They're going to pound you with inside zone powers, those kind of things. And they've got two really really outstanding. In fact, their best running back doesn't start. He's a sophomore, plays outside linebacker. He went for 189 yards last year against Valdosta in the semis uh, as a freshman. Very, very talented, but they're going to nickel and dime you to death. And like I said, till you draw you up. But if you remember the Harrison game, that's it's almost the exact same game plan. So that's the one we've got to be ready for. That's going to be a good matchup. Absolutely. Let's take a break, uh, watch a few messages, and we'll be back in just a minute. Hi, my name is Charles R. Hicks Sr. I'm the owner of Transformers Transmission Complete All Repair Specialist and we are excited. It is football season. Another thing that we're excited about is our new facility opening here at 844 Sugar Road in Dalton, Georgia. Our other location at 815 East Walnut Avenue is still open to help continue your car service. So just give us a call at 706-529-2706 and from the Transformers family, God, God bless, bless and have, have a beautiful, beautiful day. day. With VidLink, OptiLink's exciting new entertainment platform, you'll have the freedom to stream VidLink content on multiple devices, even when away from home. Plus, with VidLink, you can access the widest array of content on the market. You'll get great features like Restart, Replay, Cloud-based DVR storage, all HD programming, and so much more. Contact us today to see how you can get linked to the next big thing in video entertainment. Buy from the pros who know at Proformance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Proformance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com Big things are happening at Hamilton. Anna Shaw Children's Institute, People's Cancer Institute, new physician practices near you, and Hamilton Medical Center is number one for overall hospital care. Hamilton Healthcare System, health for life. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership, offers our exclusive 10-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty and our $1,000 low-price guarantee. Ford of Dalton, I-75, exit 336, or FordofDalton.com. Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. At Engineered Floors, we make sure better is in every detail. Technology has always been the foundation of Engineered Floors, pushing past what we believed was possible. Rather than having several buildings for each part of our manufacturing process, we put everything under one roof, from beginning to end, which means easier production, faster turnarounds, and better work environments. When it comes to the environment, we've taken extra care to leave a smaller footprint, especially as we grow, stain resistant, Pet friendly, durable, beautiful, guaranteed. We create our flooring with our customers and their daily needs in mind. We are invested in this community and the economy that has been created by the industry we love. And after all of this, we still know that we can do more. As long as our customers need us, 
we'll continue to fearlessly pursue better. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership, offers our exclusive 10-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty and our $1,000 low-price guarantee. Ford of Dalton, I-75, exit 336, or FordofDalton.com. All right, Coach, let's wrap up the show and, and certainly want to invite as many people as we can down Absolutely. to the Cooler, right? Don't stay yeah. home and watch it on no. on television. Make Absolutely. the drive a couple hours from here. If nothing else, go to Mooney's. That's right. Hit Mooney's, I mean, that Mooney's good Texas Barbecue <laughs> in Flowery Branch, Georgia. Stop there, people. It's I'm on the way. You. It's on the way. Tell them I sent you. <laughs> it's a great, some of the best barbecue you'll eat. Uh, no doubt. No, in fact, we're trying to do a pregame meal there That's right. for coaching staff. That's I don't right. know if we get that worked out or not. But uh, no, yeah, we want to invite everybody down. It's going to be a great game, great atmosphere. Decula has a great stadium. There's a lot of great tradition there. Uh, it's one of those. Uh, it's one of those scenarios. It's, it's actually one of the few remaining natural grass fields that we feel like we're going to have not an advantage there, but certainly we're going to feel very comfortable with that because that's what we've been playing on. Uh, but like I said, about a two-hour drive down, give or take a little bit, a couple of ways to go. Uh, you can go down to Atlanta and come up through, uh, you know, 85 and, and, and off that way. Or the best way I like is to go 20 over through Canton, come down over through uh, Cumming, Georgia, Buford, Georgia, Gainesville, in that area. You kind of pick up a little bit of the mountains, get you an apple pie. and uh, Maybe and avoid a little traffic, possibly. Oh, big time. You'll enjoy a lot of traffic. So, anyhow, love to have as many people as we can get down to the game. Certainly want to thank the quarterback club. Our kids will be riding in, in style again this week. That's right. I tell you, it's one of the blessings about being at Don't Have Football is be a part of uh, the experience that our, our quarterback club and our quarterback and our, and our players' parents uh, experience that they create. And certainly the, the young men are worth it. The young men earn it. Uh, and, and it's certainly, such, certainly a privilege to be able to give them that. But yeah, we'll ride the charter buses down probably because of the time frame. Probably going to go ahead and eat here before we leave. We've, we've talked about that in the past. Uh, and then we'll pick up uh, somewhere down the road. Just a little snack and get, get out and do a little walk through uh, and be ready to go. And then, of course, Wednesday night, steak night. Uh, one, of the great one of the great about, traditions. I remember going right man. over the National Guard Armory when I was in high Absolutely. school and, and you'd have the steak Wasn't dinner. That, great? Right there. that was, that was awesome. awesome. That's good. But yeah, we'll have that Wednesday night. So come out and support the cats. Absolutely. We'll close up like we always do. So we'll be back next week. Same cat time, same cat channel. Go be grin.